Hello, David here, and the project for today is a review of the UY Chan soldering iron. This is what you get in the box. AC power cord. This power cord plugs in like that. This plugs into the back of the soldering iron. Soldering iron plugs into the handle like that. This has a display, so if the tip is not inserted all the way, you'll get a, a message on the display. This is a ground connection, so in case you have a ground on your bench, you could hook up your ground to this. This thing, which... Uh, I guess it's a tip holder. Hold the tip like that. I don't know, it doesn't say. It's a model TS-101. Instructions in Chinese, English, and Russian. So it's set for uh, Celsius. And uh, instructions say that there is a way to connect it to your computer. But I don't see a USB cord. There is this which, uh, does that connect it to a phone? I don't know. Let's try it. Gosh darn. Connects to my phone. Let's see if the phone will power this. Yeah. Getting a display. Supposedly, you can, uh, program the soldering iron from a this display on your phone. It's heating up now, so got to make sure I don't cause a fire. Here's another connector, and uh, I believe this goes to your battery pack. This then would go into the uh, back of the soldering iron. This goes into your battery pack. This uh, this kit does not come with a battery pack. So uh, they warn you not to run AC and DC simultaneously. You have to do either one or the other. Let's see if my phone is recognizing this. Charging, charging connected device via USB. There's a uh, on off for to charge it or not. I doubt that there's a battery in here. This is. It's kind of slim to, to hold the battery that would have this much power. I don't know what to do from here. So it couldn't switch to this device. So I don't know enough about it. tip is cold. So I'm going to unplug it. Plug it into the AC power. Okay, I'm not going to fast forward through this. I'm going to stay, have everything in real time. Display shows that it's heating. This might be uh, blinking in the video, but the display is not blinking to my eye.
let's just see at what point we'll uh, melt some solder. I think when it gets up to temperature, it's going to show the reading in Celsius. So this unit was recommended by Ivan at Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. And I think he's got one of the best automobile diagnostic channels on YouTube. You should follow him. He's great. Does a lot of repairs with no parts required. Okay, still says it's heating. And you could change the default temperature settings by using these uh, these A and B buttons. Default temperatures are listed in the manual. Cold. That's showing three hundred degrees Celsius. Here it goes. It's making some smoke. It's up a lot better than my old Weller. Let's see if I can remove the battery on this this old Cobra dash cam. There we go. I like the sharp point on this. It can really pinpoint a uh, tiny area. The battery is out. Hey, I like this thing. 300 degrees Celsius. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.